All right, today we're gonna be talking about a Premiere Pro plugin called Watchtower. Have you ever found it annoying organizing your assets into the proper finder folders and then having to go into Premiere and importing the footage one by one into the correct bins? Yeah, I hate that too. Well, Watchtower solves this issue entirely. Watch as I drag these assets into my finder folders and they immediately appear in the appropriate bins inside of Premiere without me having to touch anything. That is the power of Watchtower, so let's get right into it. Watchtower is a $25 plugin from KnightsoftheRoundEditingTable.com, and he is also the maker of the plugin Excalibur, which I am a massive fan of. This developer is great at making tools that really enhance the Premiere Pro user's workflow. So let's hop in and take a look at how you can configure Watchtower for your workflow. Once you have it installed, go up to Window, Extensions, and then Watchtower. This window couldn't be any more simple. You have three options. The Sync button, which will force Excalibur to sync if you have auto sync disabled. And this folder icon here is where you go to tell Excalibur what folders you would like to sync. So now I have a list of all my connected hard drives. From here, you navigate to the folders that you want Watchtower to keep an eye on for the project. In my case, it's this Watchtower folder, and then inside of Sources, I have Footage, Graphics, and Audio. I want Watchtower to keep track of these. So I'm gonna check all three of them, and then Watchtower is going to generate folders inside of Premiere, as well as import all the footage. These Premiere Pro bins are now linked to the Finder folders, and anytime we add assets to Finder, they will appear in Premiere as well. And that's the basic idea behind Watchtower, but now let's check out some other awesome features that it has. If you shoot with a camera like a Sony or a RED that has a complicated card structure, Watchtower has some features that handles these really well. First of all, if you use a RED, then you know you have to import with Media Browser for spanned clips to work properly in Premiere. Well, thankfully, Watchtower is smart enough to deal with this so that you don't have to use the Media Browser anymore. Not only that, but it can detect these complicated folder structures and reduce it down to only the necessary folders to get your media. As an example, take a look at this folder structure inside of this red card. Inside of card one, we have a red created folder, and then inside of that folder, we have dozens of other folders with the actual red clips and metadata. Importing this whole structure into Premiere would be obnoxious to work with. When Watchtower detects a card structure that it supports, it will automatically flatten all the folders. So now once we allow Excalibur to import these, you can see it strips down all the unnecessary folders and only leaves you with your media, which makes it much nicer to look at inside of Premiere. This can help keep your Premiere projects much more clean and save you from having to drill down through dozens of folders. Watchtower can also automatically detect when you have an image sequence and it can import it as a video file. For example, I have this folder that is full of pictures from a time lapse. Watchtower will automatically see this and import them as a time lapse for me, which is awesome. If you click on the folder icon and then go to advanced, you can see what Watchtower is doing along with a few additional options. This will show you every folder that Watchtower is currently keeping an eye on. You'll see three buttons here. The far left is S, which is short for image sequence. The middle one is F for flatten. And the far right one is R for relative path, which we will come back to later. Anytime Watchtower detects an image sequence in your folders, it will automatically set this to S. If for some reason you don't want this to import as a time lapse, you could uncheck this and now you would only get pictures imported instead of these pictures importing as a video file. Same thing goes for flatten. Anytime Watchtower sees a folder structure that it knows how to flatten, it will automatically apply it to that folder. If you didn't want this to happen, or you do want to flatten other folders that it didn't automatically detect, you can turn on F for that folder and it will automatically flatten everything that's inside of it. Now, before we dive into what Relative Path does, let's go ahead and jump into the Watchtower setting. Inside of here, you can disable or enable Auto Sync. I prefer to keep it disabled most of the time and then just occasionally click the sync button when I know I have new media. The reason for this is if I'm dumping a new card, Watchtower will try to import things as it's dumping and since they're incomplete files, they don't come through properly and then I have to resync it when the card is done dumping anyways. So depending on your workflow, you may or may not want to disable this. This button will just prevent duplicates from showing up in your project, which is really handy. Show import options is for when importing something like a PSD file. You would normally get a window that asks how you want to import it, but if you disable this, Premiere will skip that dialog window. Then you have show notifications, which are just the notifications for when Watchtower imports your media. Finally, we have the vertical button layout. This just changes the Watchtower panel from vertical to a horizontal layout to fit your workspace better. Under the Files tab, this is a list of all the available file types that Watchtower will import. You can add or remove file types from this list if you don't want it to import something. If you have specific file types you don't want Watchtower to import, you can uncheck them from here and now Watchtower will ignore them. 
Finally, there is the folders tab. Inside of here, you can type names of folders that Watchtower will ignore. As an example, whenever I make proxies, I put them next to the original media inside of a proxies folder. Since Watchtower imports everything inside of my footage folder, this means the proxies get brought into Premiere, which I don't want. If I come inside of this panel and add a folder named proxies, now Watchtower will ignore any folder that has the word proxies in it and not import it. So if there's anything you ever want to exclude from Watchtower being able to import, this is a great way to do it. All right, now we have that relative path button I was talking about earlier. This is for those of you who use templates. This is an amazing feature that I am so glad Watchtower has. The idea is that you can set up your template with Watchtower once and anytime you duplicate them, Watchtower will already be configured to import your files for that project. If you're someone who makes a new Premiere Pro project file every single time you start a project, this means you'll have to tell Watchtower what folders you want it to watch every single time you start a project. Whereas if you use templates, it's already set up for you when you open the project. So right here I have my template which has all of my folders and my Premiere Pro project file. I'm going to open the Premiere Pro project and start configuring Watchtower. Once open, click the folder icon and navigate to where your template is. Now tell it all the folders that you want it to watch. In my case, I just need the audio, footage, and graphics folders. Now generated all of the linked Watchtower folders. Once these are brought in, go over to the Advanced Folders tab, and now you're going to select the folders you just imported and turn on Relative Path. Once this is on, you can save your project and close. Now anytime I duplicate my template and click open the project and add footage, I can immediately click sync and Watchtower adds all of my media without me having to reconfigure it every project. This is truly one of my favorite features because not only do templates start your projects quicker than normal, once you configure Watchtower with it, you don't even have to import your media anymore. You open a project, click a button, and the whole project is ready to go. So that's an overview of Watchtower. For $25, I think this is an absolute no-brainer. I always hated projects that had me regularly adding new assets, and now with Watchtower, this is not a problem anymore. So if you guys are interested in Watchtower, click the link down below. And if you want to see more content like this, click that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know.